Hello everyone, this is Tom the Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have another Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure. And here we have the Mighty Morphin White Ranger. So here's front for you, you get the White Ranger pictured there. You get the Power Rangers Lightning Collection logo there. Uh, the Mighty Morphin White Ranger. And you get the figure right here with the cool holographic like design to the logos and stuff like that. And then here's the side for the rest of the uh, White Ranger, and then you get more of that holographic looking uh, thing there for the box. And then here's the back with that same holographic thing there with a lightning bolt down the box with a figure. Nothing else down here. You get that holographic design there. You get the another picture of the White Ranger. Here's the bottom with the UCPI, and not much. I already showed the top. All right, so besides that, let's crack them open. And here he is on the packaging here. So let's go over his accessories first. So first you get two white uh, fisted hands here. We've seen these before, I believe. Same old from a few. You get that little sculpt there with for the forearm pad basically, but not much else for that. And we've seen this blast effect before from the Blue Rangers two pack, um, blue, trans uh, blue translucent plastic. And it should have like a little slant, slant here to put across the sword, just like this somewhere. Don't really know how to use this, but uh, yeah. And then you get a sword here, which I think is really cool. You get that cool gold design there. You get that gray silver there for the blade. And you get white around there. You get that cool logo there as gold. Really cool detailing here nice sculpt for the sword and you get that cool looking lion i mean not lion tiger looking end there for the handle you get the stripes for it too and the ears so that's cool but yeah there's the sword and you get this head sculpt from i don't remember the character's name but i remember him looking like this you get the ponytail in the back there so looks that looks good the eyes look good. They're not cockeyed or anything like that. They got really good detail for it. So that's really good. Besides that, let's go over to figure now. So you get that helmet here. You get the nice gold design there. It kind of looks like a tiger like it did in the movie, in the show. You get the little ears there. You get the gold stripes around there. You get the little mouthpiece there that is silver. You get the black visors, black stripes there for the tiger look. And you get that white ranger logo on the center of his chest there with the gold vest around it, gold in it with the black vest there with the gold shoulder pads there. It's a soft plastic. So if you guys are able to, you could take it off if you want, but obviously I don't see a point in doing that. So yeah, and you get more gold detailing around there. Here's the back. You can get gold around it straight down the middle. And you get the black like I meant the gold like uh, bicep strap things for him there and there and you get the gold bracelets with the gold uh, black outlining there and you get the sword holding hand here and then you get the like salute hand here uh, and then you get his belt here which we've seen before you get that holster for his sword on the side you get the white pants you get the gold uh, ankle boot things for him with a black outlining and then yeah and then let's go over his articulation so his head can move down that far up that far he can look left and right and just very little head pivoting there his shoulders can go out that far the shoulder pads kind of get in the way there uh, you could kind of do 360 rotation like I said the Shoulder pads get in the way there, and I'm having trouble putting it back in position. Oh boy. Houston, we got a problem. Okay, it's a little awkward to put it back in position. And he does have a butterfly joint, so you can go that far, that far back, so that's good. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Let's see if I can get that other hinge to go. There you go, really far. And then his wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. I think for the sword one, nope, it hinges up and down, not side to side. He has a ball joint at the top, so a, uh, a ball joint, whatever you call it, diaphragm joint. So he can go 
forward that much with that, backwards is that much. You can go side to side. You can do 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch at the hip, so he can go down that far with all the joints going. Backwards, that far with the joints. Uh, his legs can kick out that far. Forward, that far. Backwards, not much. Thigh cut, uh, double jointed knees. Um, boot cut there, ankle hinges down that far and up that far. Nice ankle pivot though. So I think this is a really cool figure. Really good uh, posability. I got um, articulation um, besides the shoulders, but it's not really the shoulders fault. It's more like the the shoulder pads, but you can't really do anything about that. So. Oh well, and then the ankles hinge are a little, they're either stiff for me right now or they just can't move. So yeah, but I like the design of the figure. It comes with enough accessories for it, so that's good. Um, but besides that, really good figure and that's all I've got.